I used to be uh, yelling about injustice in the streets, and uh, everybody thought it was really funny being in, you know, about it. They said, you need to go up on stage and, and fight the power. And so I went on stage and started doing it, so railing at government and talking shit about injustice and white folks and racism and so I you know I started off that way. I did really well which was crazy. I killed the first time I did it. I murdered and then uh, I was like the, the owner was like man you funny man you need to come back and do it again so I did it again and I did it again and the like seventh time I bombed horribly like there was crickets people were coming up to me handing me applications for jobs like you need to do something else and then that made me really mad and go all right now I'm really gonna do it and I uh, didn't stop and that's 20 four years ago Bill Burr I like Bill Burr I like Chappelle one of Chappelle's you remember Chappelle had two of them but Chappelle's funny to me. One of them is. Um, the other one's not as strong, but it's still good. Eddie Murphy, Eddie Murphy, Delirious, and then I say second we raw. But Delirious first. Delirious was a major, and then uh, uh, oh, what is one man's name? I like Cat's energy, Cat Williams' energy, a lot. But I don't. It, I wouldn't say he's one of the best specials, but his energy is bananas. I like it. See, I've been on CSI. I've done a lot of dramatic TV, which is weird. I did uh, CSI. I've done um, a show called Heroes, uh, kind of an X-Men type of show. Um, uh, CSI, uh, NCIS. I was a DJ on that, I was DJ Shadowlark, which is uh, weird. I was a DJ on that, but the lady was killed in the club and they was asking me questions like, you know, and I'm just basically telling them, you know, hey, I'll just give her this one, that, uh, you know, I, I don't know nothing. I'm, I'm just, I just DJ. So I did that. Um, did a lot of independent movies, just did one called um, Trunked that's coming out. So that's cool. I just, I'm grinding. I'm, I'm self. Like even with my special, it was I got all of the players together with the the, the finances and the, and the producers and got them all together, and then we coordinated it. And me and a brother named Nazi Islam, um, I give props to, um, helped me edit the special. So me and him edited the special. I picked the clips I wanted, and then uh, I know something about editing. So and we went through and just systematically cut it together. So. I'm hoping people like it. So far, people like it a lot. And then the clips that you saw one of the clips. Yep. Yeah. They, I think what they think when a comic produces his own shit, they think that it's not going to be quality. And then when people saw mine, it made me feel good that they were like, "Wow, this is like HBO level quality." I'm like, "Yeah, we had six cameras. We had five thousand people come out. Yeah, we we did it right. So don't you know? Don't get it twisted. I, we did it right." It's always sunny in Philadelphia. Um, that would definitely be one of them. Um, what is? Uh, it's. I don't like as much stuff on regular TV. Does that make sense? I don't. I think that they they don't let the comedy breathe and grow. Uh, but um, lately, I've been on the road so much. I've been watching more stuff online, and I'm kind of a CNN junkie. So I'm more focused on that. So I haven't watched the sitcoms, but I say that one. And uh, I like animated stuff. I've always liked The Simpsons and um, American Dad and shit like that. That's hilarious to me. I love shit like that. This guy was a hitman. I can't remember he was a hitman. But he decided to stop hit being a hitman. It's a comedy. Can't remember the name of it. That was really funny. It's like off-brand shit that's not real mainstream. That I don't really, I'm not into the mainstream too much. Anything on um, Cartoon Network, kind of subversive sketch. Um, I used to love John Stewart show. I love the sketches in within John Stewart show. When it was the John Stewart show, now it's um, Trevor Noah. You did, you're right. It's Trevor Noah. 
But I like those kind of sketches where they, they have a point and there's a relevancy to it. I love that kind of shit. Where you can make, like I could talk about abortion and still make it funny. I think when you just talk about, man, women and men are different. That's easy. I like something where it's a hard topic and you still make it funny as fuck. So that is the challenge of comedy for me to make, like to do a joke that's so like, what? And then they still laugh. Easy, Chris Rock. Jesus Christ, that's easy. Uh, Chris Rock, for sure. Um, of course, you know, not. I wouldn't say Chappelle as much as Chris Rock. I'd say Chris Rock for sure would be number one. Uh, I love Bill Burr, but we're two different crowds. But he's one of my favorite. Joe Rogan, another one, two different crowds, but I love him. But I say um, uh, top would be Chris Rock, and then Chappelle would be in there, but out of his stature, not necessarily. And I'm friends with both of them. You know, I'm cool with them. It's not that, it's just, I think Chris Rock's crowd would accept me more. No, I'd say a tie. You know what, I changed my mind. Every easy. Um, if Patrice O'Neill, Patrice could kill me, and he used to kill me in real, when I, he was alive all the time. He used to always make fun of me, and I loved it. Um, I would say him, Jeff Ross, real cool. Um, with him. We um, judge this thing called the Comedy Roast Battle in LA. So uh, I would mind him tearing me apart. Um, I would say him. Um, I'd say um, a dude named uh, Talent. Common name Talent's really, I love the way his performance is. I don't know how he roasts. Um, and I'd say um, uh, Jamie Foxx, who roasts me. Definitely specials. I got I already wrote a new special. I have a new hour that I'm ready to go. And Trump has given me tons of shit because he's uh, a ton of shit. And so uh, I, I'd say another special for sure. Um, I have a show I did called Monkey with a Brain Bitch that I did. On, I know this is the name of it, Monkey with a Brain Bitch. It's a it's a nod and mocking how I know how white people talk about us. So I'm just gonna throw it in the title just to fuck with you. So um, I had we did a pilot of, of that show. I'd like to see that show become a show. Uh, it's um, that show in the future. I think having that on TV, and if not, I would do it online myself. Listen, with the internet, um, I can go whatever direction I want. Comedy writing. Yeah, I've already done that before, so I know how to ends and out. I know the, the pitfalls of it, so I would say comedy writing. But um, it would definitely be comedy writing for sure. Comedian Shang is my Instagram. Comedian Shang is my Twitter. My website is easy. It's IamShang.com. And I have to kind of reformat it, because I just did it on Wix. And I have to reformat it to fit, because I... I did it uh, a little bit too big, I think, and, I, and I'm gonna. I reformatted it, but I gotta get it back. The reformatted version of. But they can see all my my credits. I just did a show Gotham with uh, Sinbad, who's one of my favorite. Uh, I did that, so that's been coming out. Let's see if we get a chance. Go look online. You can look at it on my site, and then Shangri. I'm gonna push the hell out of it, and hopefully, people like it. I just got picked up across the board on everything, uh, Google Play, um, iTunes, um, Best Buy, online. And um, people can buy a physical copy, but uh, mostly online, because I figure that's my strongest suit. I got a lot of followers. I mean, I just topped off at three million, so that's good. You can be edgy and talk about sex or politics or whatever and get a message and show that all black comics aren't stupid and you know and over the top and we don't all 
you know, uh, wear dress and act crazy. We, we can act crazy, but there's a, a intellect, but you can see it underneath. But I want to show them because we don't see that as much. A lot of the new cats coming up now, they're all good, but they're not bringing anything with substance to the table. And I would like to see more younger comics bring some substance to the table, and I just don't see it. I don't see it at all. I just and I and I see a lot of young comics. And I don't see a lot of them that sharp and point of view and political that they literally can start a movement and I just don't see any. So I'd like to see somebody do that and hopefully I can morph more into that. I got a pretty good following but I wanna and people always say, Oh man, you always keep it real, you always say what's up going on in the community, whatever. I do that and then I'll put a then I'll do a dumb dick joke too. So I'm I'm not perfect yet. I, I'll do one thing I'll do like 45 minutes of political point of view material, then I'll do some stuff about pussy. So I, I, I'm not, you know, I'm not above it. And I'd like my whole act to be of substance where the audience can accept me. But it's hard for black comics to do the Bill Maher route. It's hard for us. Hey, what's going on? Uh, this is comedian Shang from HBO and Comedy Central. I don't know why they got my goofy looking pumpkin face on a site called cutiepie.com, but hey, make sure you check out cutiepie.com and then you'll see my big pumpkin face. And then I'll put a candle in my mouth and you'll see me all over on Halloween because I look like a pumpkin. 